So here we are again, uh, uh, calculating formal charge. Uh, we're going to assign a formal charge for each atom in this potential Lewis structure. So again, formal charge is equal to the number of valence electrons minus the lone pair electrons minus half of the bonding pair of uh, electrons, okay? So let's look at the left hydrogen atom. Its formal charge is going to be equal to the number of valence electrons that a hydrogen atom has, which is one, minus the lone pair electrons. There are no lone pairs around the hydrogen atom. Minus one half of the bonding pair electrons. There's one bond here surrounding this hydrogen atom, and in this bond are two electrons. So one half of that would be one. So the formal charge of this left hydrogen atom is zero. What about the oxygen atom? Well, the number of valence electrons an oxygen atom has is six. It has one, two, three, four lone pairs. I mean, not lone pairs, but lone pair electrons. We count each individual electron. Minus, uh, it's got one, two bonding pairs of electrons, so there are two here and two here. Uh, for a total of four, but we take half of those because they're being shared. So half of those would be assigned to the oxygen atom. So half of four is two. Two here and two here for four total. Half of four is two. So six minus four is two. Two minus two is zero. Let's look at the right hydrogen atom, number of valence electrons is one, minus number of lone, lone pair electrons, zero, minus one half of the bonding pair electrons. Here are the bonding pair electrons associated with this hydrogen atom. There are two here, one half of that would be one, zero. So in this case, uh, we would decide because the formal charges appear to be minimized, zero, zero, and zero, this is uh, the most likely uh, Lewis structure for this molecule. So unless we have some experimental evidence to, to suggest otherwise, this would be the Lewis structure I would pick.